Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh I am your lecturer Dr. Liz again For the topic of accept or reject This is part 2 of 2 videos This is an illustration on how to solve a question on accept or reject Okay, are you ready? So we are going to look at this question About stay beauty, Sendirian Berhad So as you can see, stay beauty is currently producing 40,000 bottles okay and then this is 80% of its production capacity means that 40,000 here is the current capacity which is at 80% of the maximum capacity the sales revenue is 720,000 and the information here is listed here direct material direct labor production overhead sales commission advertisement fixed production fixed admin overhead <coughs> and then 60% of production overhead is variable in nature that is out of 160,000 and then after that we have Chantik here says cosmetic and slimming product is interested to order 12,000 bottles of slimming at 1650 okay so this is the details following the order from Chantik. As you can see here, the company uh, will hire a temporary labor at a cost of 250 and then you need to spend additional 275 per bottle for the special packaging, 4 ringgit for stamping and then Stay Beauty also will need to spend 400 ringgit to administer the order, no sales commission will be incurred for the special order and then you will have to incur insurance costs of 125 and a delivery truck is needed to deliver the order at a cost of 1000 and will be borne by Chantik Sendirian Berhad and so this is the question calculate the total opportunity cost determine the incremental profit or loss if state beauty accept the order and then based on your answer also advise the management on whether it should accept or reject and then state four qualitative factors to be considered in deciding whether to accept or reject so this is how your question will look like so based on this question we want to try how to solve this question okay so now as you can see from the question just now first thing that you have to do is to extract the important information so here i have extracted the relevant information from the question so as you can see you need to know what are the relevant cause irrelevant cause so you have to extract it here okay so as you can see the question say that current capacity is 40 percent and it is given to you 40 80 percent is 40,000 units so from here you will need to work out the maximum capacity and then the sales revenue is 720,000 so based on this information then you can get the selling price which is 18 ringgit direct material cost 140,000 which is 350 per unit and then direct labor cost 80,000 units at 2 ringgit per unit production overhead which is 60% variable out of this you have to calculate and then divided by total units you will get 240 per unit sales commission is 8,000 which give you a 20 cent per unit so these are the relevant information even though not all but then I have summarized it here so based on this information we are going to use this information to check our capacity remember the first thing that you have to do is to check the capacity so here is the maximum capacity is 50,000 because the question give you this information 80% here is the current capacity at 40,000 so you work this out you will get the maximum capacity of 50,000 so that will give you the excess of 10,000 okay the special order comes to you at 12,000 units you only have 10,000 excess capacity this is what I'm talking about in the first part of the video okay so you only you cannot accommodate all the order because the order came to you 
at 12,000 when you only have 10,000. So you will need to sacrifice your normal sales of about 2,000 units. Okay, so if your current capacity is 40,000 units, then now you don't have a choice but you have to sacrifice the current capacity. Okay, you will have to reduce it to become 38,000 only. 2,000 is your sacrifice normal sales. Okay, so this is checking the capacity so that you can see that the units needs to be sacrificed. And this is because of you will need to calculate the... opportunity cost this is what the first question actually want the first question wants you to calculate the opportunity cost so this is what you will do so as you can see how to calculate the opportunity cost okay in the first part of the video i have shown you how selling price per unit for the product we have calculated it to be 18 ringgit here as you can see okay so this 18 ringgit will need to be used for the normal sales and eh? the selling price for the normal sales because the opportunity opportunity cost is the contribution margin loss from the normal sales okay so selling price is 18 less with direct material cost is 350 direct labor is 2 ringgit variable production overhead is 240 sales commission is 20 cent okay so that will give you the total variable cost of 8 ringgit and 10 cent and this will give you the cm per unit of 9 ringgit 90 cent so you times it with the number of units sacrificed 2000 that will give you the opportunity cost of 19800 ringgit so this is the opportunity cost that we have calculated okay so once you have this opportunity cost then our next step is to do the incremental analysis because the question asks about the increment in profit or a decrement in decrease in profit so this is how you do the incremental analysis so you can see from here the sales that you get from special order will be 12,000 units okay times with the special order price 16.5 so you have 198,000 okay minus with whatever expenses of cost that you need to incur in order to produce the special order only eh? so remember your direct material cost at 350 we time with 12,000 so you get 40,000 direct labor cost again 12,000 at 2 okay variable production overhead 12,000 at 240 special packaging Okay, remember the question talk about special packaging 275 per unit stamping label four ringgit per unit and the temporary label that you have to hire at 250 also additional administrative cost at 400 and the insurance of 1250 okay so i hope that you can still remember this is our question here so as you can see these are the costs that you will need to incur in order to produce the special order Okay, you hire the temporary labor and then you need to spend additional cost on packaging and also on stamping and then 400 to administer the order. No sales commission will be incurred. So please do not include the sales commission of 20 cents per bottle uh, per unit. Okay, and then uh, the insurance cost and then the delivery delivery truck here to deliver the cost at 1000 this will be borne by chantik not by stay beauty so you don't have to include it in our incremental analysis okay so now we go back to our incremental analysis so as you can see here what we have here is the the last one is the opportunity cost so this is opportunity cost that you have calculated earlier here so we bring it here so you get this amount and then total up 
all the cost incurred for the opportunity cost you get this amount one nine seven five hundred okay so minus it from the inflows the revenue from the special order one hundred and ninety eight thousand so that will give you five hundred ringgit okay for these five hundred ringgit you can see that revenue is higher than cost so this 500 ringgit is actually the net profit increase okay if you accept the special order so your net profit will increase by 500 ringgit okay you will get an additional sale of 198,000 of which the additional cost that you have to incur is 197500 that will give you 500 ringgit okay so your question next will ask you about what is your decision okay so when the question asks about decision don't forget to give your decision so this will be your decision okay so what is it okay remember to end your answer with the decision the decision will be to accept the special order why because it increased the profit by 500 okay if you get the negative figure here means that your profit decrease then here you will say reject the special order because it decreased the profit by some figure okay so this is how you should answer so based on your incremental analysis then we should accept why we should accept because it increase our profit if you get a positive figure then it means it increase you get the negative figure it means it decrease so you should reject it here okay so uh Questions will also ask you about this. What are the qualitative factors that you have to consider? Okay, because when you do your incremental analysis like here, you are actually talking about figures. Okay, these are all about figures. You are talking about numbers. You are talking about profit. You are talking about sales. You are talking about cost. So when we are talking about numbers then this one we call quantitative analysis okay quantitative analysis that is the analysis that can be quantified based on numbers but then of course we don't make our decision totally based on numbers because there are other factors that we have to consider that you cannot quantify and this is what we call qualitative factors this become an important question actually for uh, theory questions the question asks you about the qualitative factors that you have to consider so what are they these are the things that we cannot quantify okay maybe you can say that would the customer's loyalty be affected meaning that you are talking about customer's loyalty why are we talking about customer's loyalty because you have to sacrifice the normal sales remember so if you sacrifice the normal sales then regular customer will not get adequate supply of their demand so because of that they might go somewhere else and then you will lose them okay so the first thing may be because of the customers loyalty so we don't want this to happen if the profit increase only by 500 ringgit then normally it's not worth it to sacrifice the normal sales and losing your loyal customer okay what about number two is the special order most profitable way to utilize the excess capacity just now we can see that we do have the excess capacity of uh, 10,000 units. So is accepting this special order the most profitable way to utilize the 10,000? If we cannot do any other thing with the excess capacity, then maybe we can accept the special order. But there might be other opportunity that we have so that we can fully utilize our excess capacity okay the third one is the possibility that other customers will also demand the special order price 
okay what if your regular customer get to know about the price that you give for the special order so what if your regular customer also come to you and demand for the same price will that be good for you so that is another thing that you have to consider okay number four will the company have sufficient time to produce the special order maybe you can get here profit increase by five thousand twenty thousand however the term that your special order comes say that you have to complete it within this uh, time period so do you have enough time to produce the special order okay that is another things that we need to consider number five maybe is there a need to obtain additional skilled labor machinery and etc and which you sometimes you cannot even get this okay so when we have to consider all these then maybe even the incremental analysis here show a profit but you still cannot accept the special order so we do the quantitative analysis of course this is a must so that we can see how will we be doing after if we accept the special order but then we also must not forget about the qualitative factors because these are the factors that is also important for us to consider before we can make a wise decision okay so students whatever decisions that you are going to make please make a wise decision okay so that's all for special or uh, accept or reject the part two okay so next time we will see you again with a new topic